to. So, we are on a little trip today. Well, a little. It's right now. Not a big trip, but still a trip nonetheless. We are heading now to go look at a surface body bed for this truck, actually. Uh, and if everything works out, I'll be buy it. It's off of a 95 Silverado. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, place is right, so... I'm gonna go take a look at it. It's what I think it is and what I want, then I end up getting it. Yeah, so it's about an hour away. I got the little my dad's little trail with me, so load it up and see what we can find. Oh, we can go down, look at it. I'll bring y'all back once I got some more, nothing more than that, but that's basically what we're doing today. Saturday morning, by the way. About 7 o'clock. So, so the guy be there about 8. So, we're trying to get down there and then get back. Wish I left an hour to do it, but that's the two of the people. I thought one thing I noticed about walking, um, like when I'm, I got I gotta be at work at 5 a.m. Which isn't, for some people that's not bad at all, but a lot of people that's really. But when you do that, you just get in the habit of, oh, I just want to sip whatever, like, I want to go to walk. And a lot of people ain't up and stuff, so. You know, normal people. But anyway, I'll bring y'all back once I get some more, and yeah. Hey, the YouTube, so, um, just on my way back. Picked up the bed. I'll take some video of it. Um, I'm going to get back to the house just because I'm trying to get home. But, yeah, if you can see it back there. Uh, there you go. Got on the trail. Um, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. One door is a little caddy wampus, but other than that, nothing I can't fix. It's, but, I end up paying, what was it, 300 $350 for it? Thought it was a fair place on it. Um, it's a 95 bed, that's what it is. I mean, it's nothing... Overall, it's in good shape, in my opinion. I've dealt with a lot of these, though. Uh, Y'all remember my service body. That's on the wooden rig at the moment. Uh, at the moment. The, all the boxes, like, half the boxes were rusted out. Um, the bed floor was all rusted out. This one... It's not brand new by no means, but it's in pretty good shape in my opinion. I mean, it's got all the the decking's pretty good on it. Um, at least I'm going to... Unless I find something major, I'll probably just keep it like it is. Uh, but, um, yeah, so all in all, pretty good. I got to get cleaned up. I'm going to try to take my time on this one versus the other one. I really just want to get the truck done, but... Um, my springs should be in Monday for this truck, the Silverado. Um, if I get some time next week, I'll go through and uh, do this, put the Adelaide leaves on it and all that to try getting this thing leveled back out and then I gotta get the truck inspected. Uh, but other than that, that should be fine. Um, now I'm gonna get this cleaned up. May put some primer over some of these. This all for trust. Just try cleaning it up, making it look pretty nice. Um, and then we'll go out and figure out what we got to do to get it mounted on the truck. Um, probably get this old bed off. I'm hoping I can somewhat save this old bed. Just because I think I'm going to get this bed off. I'll test fit everything. Take it off. Put the old bed back on. And then why I finish cleaning it up. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. But still need to find a machine for this truck. But we'll see if that'll come might uh, might buy a new machine we'll see if business keeps like it is um probably at the end of the year i'll be looking at buying a new machine just because of um taxes and all that but we'll see we'll see if i have the use for it if i don't have a use for it then there's no point in me just buying a machine to buy a machine my wife would agree on that um <laughs> we'll see how everything goes so be a nice little project 
I'm going to try to bring y'all along as much as I can. Um, yeah, it'd be a nice... I'm hoping it's going to work out good. The only thing I'm a little afraid of is... This this truck not being a... Um, my God. Not being a cabin chassis. Things are going to sit a little funny. But we'll, we'll figure it out. It's all metal. We can make it work. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. I'll make a video once I get back to the house about it. Just walk around it and all that. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching. Howdy YouTube. So, um, as you can see, I picked me up a Silver's body. Flat truck. Um, it's a Nappied body. Uh, 94 model, or 90, came off a 95 model Chevy. Uh, what the guy was showing me. He's at, he sent me a picture when it was still on the truck. So I'm just going to these straps up so I can show you the side of the bodies. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> That's for dang sure. But um, everything's solid, which is surprising. As y'all probably know, my, I think I just mentioned this before, on my one off of my other, this on Solvis truck. It's unlocked. Um, it is. It was all rusted out. I mean, I show you the bottom down here. I mean, this so fits rust, but everything's solid up underneath here. Especially right there where that little end was leaking. I got plenty of oil on it. But yeah, I mean, it's all healed. It's, it's all solid. Nothing, nothing rusted out. That by the wall stuff right there. I'll just clean that up. Uh, I'm trying to find the key. Yeah, all in all, it's there. Um, tailgate's there. I gotta make new hinges, but we'll see what I end up. We'll see if my other tailgate from my other one will work. If it will, I'll just, I'll just make new hinges for that. I mean, either way, it's not a big deal. Bumper is in. It's alright. I'll probably end up. I'll probably use it for now, take it off, use it, and then. Um, Maybe down the road I'll switch something else on it or something, but if I end up building one, but we'll see. But yeah, it's a body. This is the one big door. Small door. I'm not a huge fan of these doors, but um that little service truck I had the Ranger service truck have one like this. It had the big door and then that. Um not a huge fan, but it isn't exactly the end of the world neither. So the only thing I didn't like is this. It's kinda got hit. Pop it down. Ah, sorry about that. So, as you see, it's kind of got hit. And this got a little frigged up. But we'll straighten it out one way or another. Um, might see about finding another door or building another door. One way or another, we'll get it straightened out. I'm not too concerned. I mean, it's not that bad. If I do minor straightening and stuff, I could probably get it back to where it would at least function like it's supposed to. And not hit it every time to close it. Yeah, that was one I didn't love, but I'm hoping I might be able to find a door for this. Um, I keep my eye at the salvage yards and stuff. A lot of times they'll have them. Um, it's just the little one. Nothing too exciting about that. And then it's at the front door with the shelves and all that. We'll see what ends up staying, what doesn't. But uh, that's the model and all that for it. I need that anyway. So I doubt I could. I'll look and see if I can just buy a new door. But I doubt I can. If not, like I said, I'm just gonna, I'll fix it anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but yeah, and this is what it is. I'm gonna take that around and get you the extra dimensions on everything. After we open up the other one. I'm curious. Ah, there we go. Just oh yeah, that's open. What's that? 
Oh, whatever. And I do, I put all the hinges back on the chains and all that on these two doors. But, more I like that one, I don't like. But yeah, I got the, came with the key and everything, so I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solar truck. That's all you can say about it. I do like this, though. How they put this so then all the wiring is protected. One thing I wish I had in my other truck, but not a big deal. Small things, right? The bed? I gotta clean it out, but I mean, it's not new, but it seems pretty solid. Especially from underneath, it seems solid, so I'll get it cleaned out and figure what's what. It was an old plumbing truck, so that's a good thing in a sense. I think at this point I'm just rambling, but I'm gonna go have a tape measure and just get some measurements just so y'all wondering or whatever. But yeah. alright, YouTube. So the inside bed measurement is uh, four foot, like three quarters, which is actually bigger than the other truck. Um, the overall, I think it was about 80 inches wide. Oh no, it's not quite 80 inches. It's like 79. Uh, 78. That's for the front surface. Oh, whatever. I'll imagine that. Um, let's get up top here. 